just going to take this one step by step. So all we have to do, we're going to treat 18 over 24 just as we would if we saw it without the variables. In other words, we're going to reduce this fraction. And it's equal to 3 fourths, so I went ahead and simplified this portion of our problem. And now we want to divide a squared by a. Well, a is a to the 1. It's an invisible 1 there that's not written. So a squared divided by a to the 1 is just a. And b to the 5th divided by b to the 3rd is b squared. Remember, when you divide indices, you just subtract. Here's our solution. Try to solve this one. So we've got 125 divided by 5. Remember, we're just going to take it step by step. We're going to do the numbers first. 125 divided by 5 is just 25. M is below, so you can understand a little better how I simplified it. But if we have two M's on the top and four on the bottom, and if we simplify those, we're dividing them both by M squared. So it means that we're just going to have two M's on the bottom or M squared on the bottom. The ends, we have five on the top, seven on the bottom. Identify where there are more indices and then subtract means we have two n's on the bottom, or n, n squared. And remember, when you divide indices, you just subtract them. So p to the 6 divided by p squared is p to the 4th. And there is our solution. Please pause the video and try these on your own. After you've completed them, press play on the video, and I will have the solutions shown. Behold the solutions.